Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm just gonna go downtown a little bit in Tel Aviv because there's uh, gonna be a siren. Today's Holocaust Memorial Day in Israel. And they have a siren that goes off at 10. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go downtown now. Here, I'll take this scooter. Okay, so I'm on a scooter. And let's go. So where you see those two tall buildings, that's the area that I'm gonna go to right now. So, just to let you guys know, in two minutes there's going to be the siren and you just stand there for a minute and kind of reflect on the lives lost. So I'm going to find a good location. I think maybe I'll take this crosswalk here. Okay guys, here we are. I think this is a good location. We're at Rothschild Street. The siren goes off in 30 seconds. So you can see people here are standing outside now. Everyone's getting ready. A lot of people. This happens every every year, so you can see. There it is. and everything goes back to normal afterwards. But um, that was about two minutes long. And I'm gonna head over this way. And today we might go to the old city of Jerusalem, but there was a terrorist attack today. Unfortunately, there's been a lot. And um, I just wanna look at the news to make sure it's okay. All right, so here's the new Metro. They haven't finished building it yet, but pretty soon. Um, all right, where are we gonna go? Let's go over here. I wanna show you an area over here. We have some bike, bike paths here you can take. And this is an area just north of Florentine, but they have a lot of really cool cafes in here. And again, they have Oops, I don't know what that guy's doing. But they have um, a nice gym here. Outdoors gym. And just really cool houses and apartments. And it's a nice area of the city of Tel Aviv. And yeah, let's go this way. Okay, so... We're gonna cross here. Cool, we have a green light. And this person's going this way, so let's just go down here. I'm gonna check the news and then we can go to Jerusalem, but maybe not. It has its own vibes. Not always good vibes, <laughs> but safe vibes. It's pretty safe here, nonetheless. So, yeah. So this is the Prime Minister and uh, he's making a speech right now because it's um, Holocaust Memorial Day here in Israel. And I think we will go to Jerusalem today. 
So these are some of the people whose families have died in the Holocaust. And they're talking about different experiences. There were people who died in Tunisia from the Holocaust, which just goes to show you it wasn't just exclusively in Europe. And he's also talking about experiences in Northern Africa from the hands of the Nazis in the Holocaust. This is called a Yartze candle or a memorial candle. And uh, you light them on anniversaries of uh, deaths for loved ones. This is the national anthem of Israel, Hatikva. Hope, it means. I think we will set out to go to Jerusalem. This is what it looks like outside the window. So, nice view. Okay, so guys, I'm heading to Jerusalem right now just waiting for the bus and it should be here I don't know in like two minutes okay so I just got on the bus this is what the bus looks like um, and I usually stand on one of these things That is a street sweeper, and they have a lot of those in Tel Aviv. So you can see here on these pictures, there's gonna be a new light rail system. And this is the area where all the construction is happening. Okay, so there goes my bus. And yeah, you know where we are, maybe. If you've seen a few of the videos before. This is the round building. And that's the triangle building. And then back there is the rectangle building. So there's the train station. Uh, we're gonna go on the train again and go to Jerusalem. I don't think it, I, I hope it's not crowded. I don't think it's going to be crowded. This is how it looks. Over there is a city called Ramat Gan. Uh, Ramat Gan is the city that's next to Tel Aviv. So I'll show you over here. Um, you have the highway that travels through the city like this. This side, I believe, is Ramat Gan. And then on this side is uh, Tel Aviv. So both are big areas and have really tall buildings. And most people just sort of refer to it all as Tel Aviv. This part right here might be Tel Aviv, actually. And then over there is Ramat Gan. But really cool city so this is the train to Jerusalem let's go ahead and take the train I'll see if I can get a window seat so you can look out the window um, most of it's in a tunnel actually because Jerusalem's in the mountains but there are some nice sights I'll get a window seat here we go. We're leaving Tel Aviv and going to Jerusalem. We're going faster. Oh, we're switching, we're switching. That one's winning now. Okay guys, I think we lost this race. Here's the uh, next platform in Tel Aviv. This is 
sort of nearby where I live, actually. And it's closer to the south of Tel Aviv where they have a big bus station. Okay, everyone's getting on now. Okay, so we're leaving Tel Aviv. There it is, say goodbye. And over on that side, I think, is Jerusalem. And that's where the mountains are. So we're going through a semi-tunnel and they have a lot of these along the way. And there's this Ben Gurion Airport, so not too far away. It's only like five minutes or something. But this is where you land if you ever come to Israel. It's in between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. And it looks like there's a plane taking off right here. But yeah, if you come here, you'll land here. See, Nemal Teufa Ben Gurion. That means uh, Ben Gurion Airport in Hebrew. The next stop is Wow, this train goes really fast. So yeah, we're starting to get in the mountains now and my ears just popped. Wow, so we're on a really long bridge and we're pretty high up and really cool views over there is um, Judea and Samaria, also known as West Bank the Palestinian territories and let's see Jerusalem's just right up here we're almost there I see Jerusalem so down there is some more tunnels I don't know where that highway goes actually that highway goes to the Dead Sea so if you take this highway and you keep on going straight you'll go to the Dead Sea and it goes through the desert over there is um, Jerusalem so now we're gonna go into another tunnel and that's when we get to the train station but I love this city it's so cool so on the trains in Israel there's actually two two levels there's a, another place you can go up here that has more seats the exit. Uh, I think we'll take this. It looks like um, I, I can't remember the place where to take the elevator at. So I told you there's three of these. We have to go up another one. I just got on the uh, off the first one. We're gonna go up this one. I'll start walking. I don't mind walking, so. And now we're getting on the third one. Okay, welcome to Jerusalem. Finally here. Exit's over here, and we go through here. Okay, and that and the other one, these are the small escalators. 
And these are the stairs. I could have just taken the stairs right now. That's okay. Wow, it's such a nice day. Again, like I've been really loving the weather lately. I think maybe I'll try and get on the tram in Jerusalem, see what that's like. So here's a, here's a tram. I love this city. Oh wow, do I hear the train? And here's the train. I'm excited to get on. I've never been on this thing before. Is it full? Yeah, it looks really full. I hear the ticket collector behind me, but he's over there, he's collecting tickets. So I think I'm just gonna go through the back. Let me try. So I got off because there's a neighborhood over here that I haven't really explored too much. So the metro's going right now. Bye! So a lot of these buildings are made out of Jerusalem stone. It's kind of the style and they all have um, a similar look, like a really old style look too. It almost blends in well with, which it does, with the old stuff, the ancient stuff. So oh, something's happening there. So I remember her from last time. I haven't a clue what's going on. Like, did they just hit each other's car? Everybody's just standing here, wondering what's happening. And we can go down there. The Shook is down there. A Shook is like the market. And we have some kippas here. It's nice and cool in the shade. Really, really nice. We have some tourists here too. They have a lot of fruit. <laughs> they have a lot of fruit stands and juice bars and that's one thing I also like about Israel. Is in Israel they really like fruit stands and um, smoothie places. So and they also like a lot of croissants and sweets. So I did get I did get some of the croissants. On Thursdays at nighttime, it's packed with people. It's so much fun here. Okay, I see the exit. Okay, so earlier I told you I wanted to go to a place, and this is the place. It is like historical heritage center. Oh, look at this cat. How cute. Wow. Very interesting. Very cool. Oh, there's another cat. <laughs> okay, so there's a, another alleyway. Yeah, let's explore here. So, um... I'm still kind of heading in the direction of the old city, which is good. And I plan on going to the wall, the western wall. At the western wall, you go and you leave a note in between the stones. So you slip a note between the cracks and it's supposed to be, you know, a prayer, a wish. Oh, there's a car here. But um, it's supposed to, you know, be meaningful. And that's what I want to do there. I try and do that actually um, every time I come, but not always get the chance to do it.
Okay, so the sign there says Old City that way. You see his picture everywhere in Israel. He was a rabbi and some say that maybe he was like the Messiah or something. Yeah, his picture is pretty much like around Israel everywhere, which is cool. Okay, so perfect. I can throw my can away now. There it goes, whoops. <laughs> Interesting, where, um, okay, green light. We're almost there, actually. We're not too far away. And just nice neighborhoods in Jerusalem. I like walking through here. Jerusalem's different because it has a lot of hills. And sometimes you can get tired walking up all the time, but it's really pretty to look at. So we're gonna go down here now. And it's pretty nice down here. So we're gonna cut through here. And you can see one thing about Jerusalem is it's a mix of people. You have people from many different uh, backgrounds here, a lot of different religious uh, groups. And you have people from, wow, so many different countries and places. And this is a really cool thing about Jerusalem are these little alleyways and you can walk between the houses and yeah, it's just really nice. I like this this part about Jerusalem. Wow, so these are really cool. Okay, this is interesting. And that building looks ancient. I see the old city, it's right there. So there it is guys, those are the walls of the old city. And Wow, it looks really cool today. And so we're walking over there now. And you know what's so cool about Jerusalem, guys, is underneath the ground, there's just so much more. There's so much more uh, archeology span under here and things that haven't been discovered. They're finding things all the time, like old coins back from, you know, I don't know, like King David, maybe? I think they found something with a King David reference and of of course the the second kingdom when there was a second temple here in Jerusalem. So they uh they have a lot of really cool things and you'll see some of them once we go inside the walls of the old city. So we're almost there. And we're going to go to the wall today. Okay. This area has a lot of little waterfalls. It's really nice and it's not hot. It's, it's nice and cool, so interesting. So I'm about to go in the walls, guys. This is, um, this is the Tower of David. It's the Citadel uh, of Jerusalem. And so it's, um, it's right now it's, um, it's a museum and it kind of showcases uh, the history of Israel and um, and the old Jewish kingdom, how it was at the time. It looks like they might be part of the Armenian church. Now, you know that in Jerusalem, there are four different quarters. Uh, I think we're gonna go through the Armenian one, the Armenian one first. And we're going to get to the Jewish quarter of Jerusalem. So we're walking through the quarter right now.
Some of Aladdin's lamps. Okay, so take a left and that's how you get to the Western Wall. I got this uh, kippah and I'm gonna wear it at the wall. Wow, so we made it guys. We're at the Western Wall. So yeah, we have the rest of the city, the old city back here. And we just came from over there. And now we'll go to the wall. There's a there's an underground portion of the wall over there. So back in the day, there used to be a bridge over here that connected to the Temple Mount. Now the Temple Mount is on the other side of the wall um, where the ancient Jewish kingdom uh, temples were, part of the, the kingdoms. So there were two temples, the first temple and the second temple. Uh, if you go in there where those people are coming from, you can go underneath and they have just a whole bunch of things that they're finding underneath the ground. Also over there, I went over there last time and there was a lot of really cool things that they found underneath it all. So there's still a lot more to be discovered. It's really cool. And I have two notes with me that I'm gonna put in and here we are. Yeah, let's go put them in the wall. I'll put one right there. Hopefully I'm not going to lose other people's. And then I'll just put one back here. Wow, 3,000 years, it's crazy. Now, it's very smooth too, it's very smooth. So, this is what you do at the wall. It's beautiful, really. This is the woman's section of the wall. So women go on this side and men go on this side. And we also have tourists. I think they they might be from, you know, somewhere in Arabia. So there's also a lot of Muslim tourists that come here now, which is great. It's it's amazing. And over there there's some reading material. Okay guys, so that's it for um, our little trip to Jerusalem for now. My GoPro ran out of battery unfortunately, so I have to end it a little bit early, but I think it was nice and we saw a lot. Now, what's important about the Western Wall, this wall right here, it's one of the remnants from the old temple, from the old Jewish temple. You see they, they have the Golden Dome up there now. That is like really, really famous. Over here you have the, that right there is the Alaska Mosque, uh, and uh, this is uh, that area up there is the Temple Mount. So that's the, that's where the old uh, temples, Jewish temples were. And so over here, I want to see if I can show you something. And forgive me, this, this is uh, my phone. It doesn't do very good video. But there's still so much over here. You can see Maybe you can see from there, but you can see the city extends over there and uh, you see those graves. They have uh, some graves over there. Those were dug up like, wow, those go back like 3,000 years. This stuff that they dug up down there, that wasn't even discovered until recently. So as you can see, there's still so much underneath the ground, which is the coolest part of Jerusalem. So these are the graves that I'm talking to you about. This is called the Mount of Olives, and it's an ancient Jewish burial ground that has been a very holy site for many thousands of years. Um, it was kind of recently destroyed, like 50 or 60 years ago, um, and used as kind of like a dumping ground, but they restored everything and they're trying to repair everything that was damaged. And I'd say it looks really nice what they've done to the old city. So this looks like another area that they um, dug up. Look like 
like it was part of a hill. And we're walking up now. Okay, so here's another part of the old city of Jerusalem. I don't know if we can go inside the synagogue here, but I'm going to try. And again, you can see the um, Tower of David right there. And it's really pretty here. Interesting. I think it's over here. The entrance might be over here. Oh, okay. So I don't think we can go in. Um, maybe there's another way to visit. But I saw a place you can go down here. And it looked pretty cool. So let's just go that way. So we're walking in an alleyway. This area up here is empty. I mean, it's hollow. There's... a lot of tourists. Yeah. So, again, this is from the Old Kingdom. This is the uh, oldest part of the Old City. Is this stuff over here. And let's walk over here. I think we're going to go to either the Christian Quarter or the Armenian quarter. And I think if you keep on going down, that's when you reach the Muslim quarter. And from the Muslim quarter, you can go to the Dome of the Rock and uh, the Al-Aqsa Mosque over there. I think you'd have to go down here. All right, so we have the Last Supper here. And it looks like I'm not sure what the name of that street is, but we're gonna walk into, we just left the Jewish quarter of the city, and now I wanna take you to the Christian quarter of the city. No, it's the Armenian, the Armenian section of the city we're in. So this is the Armenian quarter, which is uh, located next to the Jewish quarter and in between the Jewish quarter and the Christian quarter. And then on the other side of the old city uh, is the Muslim quarter. And so I'll see if I can walk a little through each one. Wow, interesting. I think there's a church down there. Okay, so we're going to the Holy Sepulcher. What is the Holy Sepulcher? Um, this is the Holy Sepulcher in Jerusalem. Wow. It's beautiful. This is one of the most important sites in Christianity because it's believed that Jesus was crucified here. He was buried and... I think they think his resurrection was here as well. So, again, this is the Church of the Holy Sepulcher. So, this is part of the Armenian quarter. You can see it's written in Armenian here because the Armenians, of course, were like the Jews. They um, kind of didn't have uh, their homeland for a long time. And a lot of them came to Israel. And so, yeah, they also have a historical presence in the city. Really cool. Really beautiful. I think we'll go out now and see more of the old city. 
Ramadan. Oh. Fun music. And it looks like there's a tour group going over into the Muslim quarter of the city, so I'm gonna just kind of follow them because there's not a lot of room to get through here. Yeah, so we have the call to prayer right now. I'm uh, getting an orange juice when I walked uh, into this side of the city. They offered me orange juice, and this kid was speaking to me in English. Uh, which one? Uh, the small one. No, the big one. The big one. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Looks good. So I'll give him. This is what Israeli money looks like. 100 shekels. It's so funny right now, the... They're trying to squeeze my <laughs> oranges right now. And uh, the kids are being so funny. <laughs> they're pressing the orange juices. Uh, they're pressing the orange juice out of the orange and <laughs> it's really hard using their machine. <laughs> See how hard they're pressing? <laughs> okay, so I think over this way is the exit. This is a Greek Orthodox uh, street, so makes sense, I think, now because I see the flags and I saw a few things written in Greek, so we'll go over here. So here's the Greek flag and the church flag. Goes in somewhere over there. Looks cool, though. We're leaving from where we came. In this area, we have like a lot of shopping centers and knickknacks and clothing and more high-end clothing. And at nighttime, this place is really cool to walk through. They also have a mall that is connected. And the walls of the old city are right there. So this right here, this is the mall in there. We're gonna go this way still. There's really only one way to walk through here, which is straight. Which is east to west, west to east. That says Golda. And Golda is a very popular ice cream, ice cream place here. Here we have a family. A lot of families here. And it looks like we have a church. Now, do you see all the numbers on these stones? This was a really old, ancient sort of building that they took apart one by one, meaning each stone was taken apart. And then they put it back together. And you can see the writing on the stone that they used in order to put each piece back together where it's supposed to be. And wow, like I couldn't imagine doing all this. There's so many. And it goes all the way down here. And we have some signs, signs here for Holocaust Remembrance Day. They put the flyers here. You see how there's these um, things here? 
They put these ones here in the shape of a Star of a David. I saw them do this um, in other parts of the city too. Oh wow, she, she almost got creamed. She almost got hit by a car. So, there's a park here we could walk through there. But I think the fastest way is just to go through there, down that street. And we'll get to the train station. Oh, we have a cat eating a lot of bread. And Israel has a lot of cats, like turkey. And in Israel, everybody loves cats. They're always feeding them. So the cats sometimes are like getting fat, which is funny. And in general, they're all really friendly too. <laughs> She's asking me if I want to drink beer. Not today. The light train goes through here. And I hear it somewhere around here. Oh, there it is, down there. I want the other one to come through so I can hop on to get to the train station, but I might walk, walk through this part, I think. You know, it's quite long. The tram here is quite long. Look how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine or ten um, wagons. Nine or ten, like, separate cars for the train. Very interesting, right here, they're wrapping um, Teflon, which is... Did you Ah, no. Wow, we got a lot of people here. A lot of people out today. So I found the tram, the tram stop is right here for the light rail train. And I think it goes to where we need to go. So I hope they're not going to be collecting uh, tickets or anything. Because last time I didn't have one. Really crowded again. Maybe not as bad, actually. But you can see there's a lot of people here. So yeah, there it goes. That's all for today. I'm gonna go back now to Tel Aviv. And I'll try and make a new video tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye. Goodbye, Jerusalem.